When we made films, everybody would crew the other person's film. And I, I don't know how it came about, but I tended to be the cinematographer for a lot of the other films. Just the inspiration of being there amongst like-minded people was really great. And the little forays into making films that we did was uh, great because at the time, you, there's no way known you could have done it. Unlike today, everybody can make a movie on their iPhone. You know, you needed access to equipment. The equipment, very limited amount of equipment was there and you could make a movie and edit it. You need to get a bit of the institution, but then a, a lot of reality at the same time, because with that reality, you're really seeing what the, what the industry is all about and what the possibilities are. I think the best film school in the world is getting a job on a film or in a film studio and starting as a gopher. Fred Skips, he had some huge television commercial shooting in the CBD of Melbourne. Um, and at the time, there was no freelance crews in Melbourne, but they needed crews, you know, hand, hands on gophers to carry stuff around the city. So I got a call and they said, you know, do you want to work for a week doing this? So I said, sure. I went along and got some pocket money out of that and at the end of that it was Christmas time and uh, Fred Skepsy said to me, we're having our Christmas party tomorrow night, do you want to come along? I'm the first to admit it's a lucky story. It's a really, um, you know, being in the right place at the right time. I mean, just that first phone call, do, do you want to come and hump... Um, Studio, um, film equipment around the city. <clears throat> if it wasn't for that phone call, I would never have met Fred, really. I worked for Fred as a gopher for a couple of years. I can't remember exactly how long. And then um, one thing led to another. Um, I got to shoot a couple of little things for him because there was nobody else available, I think. And then on, on from that came um, The Devil's Playground and the rest is history. Mm -hmm.